Hey, this is Tyler 4K Equipment, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a site calibration on Tremble Siteworks. So today I'm going to kind of verify everything that we have here, which we have our SPS A55 and 985 Rover up here. They're both 900 megahertz radios. And our base station has, is on the base post. It has it's the Zephyrs up on top there. Then we have our 12 volt battery going to our base station. Then we have our rover on a rover rod here. And this is our carbon fiber lightweight rover rod. It's snapped in, tightened down with that knob. And this is going to be at 6.562 feet or two meters. So the first thing that we're going to do here is top the, tap the menu in the top left. Tap project setup. Now we're going to click on a uh, project calibration. So now you'll see the, there's going to be a little plus up in the top left there. We're going to click on that. And now you'll see your map here, which you'll, all the control points, they're all the triangles that are on this job. Then you'll see all the line work as well. So if you tap on one of these triangles, it's going to tell you your point name and we're going to start walking over there. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so as you can see, we have our rover rod set up on our control point. The tip of the rover rods in the divot in this puck, you might have a piece of rebar or a stake in the ground or uh, might be a survey pin concrete or asphalt or something. So, but yeah, you wanna make sure that divots in that, that tips in that divot or else it might throw your accuracy off. And also we're gonna, uh, adjust our level bubble right now it's level so i'm going to just get a level and kind of show you how to get it level here so as you can see it's off now and we're going to just slowly move the left one we're going to bring it up just little bits at a time here it just makes the process a little bit quicker we're going to move the right side up a little bit And now we're going to go back over to the left side. Then now we're just getting it directly in the center here. So. Then, yeah, that's all leveled out and everything's looking good. Everything's snapped in. And this is basically what you want your setup to look like every time you're set up over a known control point. So now we're just going to verify that we have the right control point selected. Then we're going to hit select there. So as you can see, you'll notice the there's a vertical height, horizontal tolerance, vertical tolerance, and a minimum measuring time. So the vertical height, you wanna just make sure your rod's at snapped in and tightened down, that's gonna be 6.562 feet or two meters. Then the minimum measuring time, you wanna make sure that that's going to be at, at 60 seconds. I'm gonna be doing 15, for example, but when you're at, out there actually surveying and doing your site calibration, you want to make sure you're at, at 60 seconds or more, especially if you're doing around five control points. And also you do want to at least do five control points when you are doing a site calibration. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit start and You'll see the time measured. It's going to count up. You want to make sure that your current positions are under 0 0.082. Then you're, set, you're getting good satellites in the top right. You'll see a satellite icon and it will say the number of satellites. You want to make sure it's over 10 satellites at least. If it's too low, then it might throw your accuracy off, which is not good. Or if your horizontal and vertical precisions are too high, it's going to throw it off. So I'm going to go over to the next joint. And I'm going to make my way over there. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so this is our next control point right here. Grab two. And as you can see, you'll see our location. It's that little circle crosshair right there. And it's not going to be accurate because we've only measured one control point. So each control point you measure, it's going to be a little bit more accurate each time. And 
also you want to make sure you verify that your rover rod is looking good your tips in the divot it's leveled out everything's locked in everything looks good and also your bipods are in the ground stepped in so you just want to make sure you don't mess up this part because you're going to have to go back and measure it if you mess this up so yeah always make sure that when you're doing your site calibration this part's looking good so i'm going to select make sure grab two selected hit select then now i'm just going to make sure the minimum measurement time is good press start it's going to start measuring it again also you just want to make sure yours is at 60 seconds at least so and if you're not able to hit five and you only have four then bring it up to 90 seconds so as you can see this point got measured it's not going to tell us our horizontal and vertical residuals till we measure our third control point here so i'm gonna hit the plus again and also i'm only going to be measuring three control points for this uh for this example so but when you're out there measuring you want to at least hit five fours you can do it it's not going to be as accurate as five three it's getting pretty scary it's going to be not that accurate it might be within an inch inch and a half of what like your horizontal and vertical so i wouldn't i wouldn't trust that so yeah you want to stay around five to be confident but yeah i'm going to start making my way over to the third control point so i'll see you when i get there Okay, so we're set up over our third control point. Everything's leveled up and everything's looking good to go here. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our third control point, which is gonna be grab three here. So we got that selected and we're gonna hit select. Make sure that your seconds are at 60 or more, then hit start. It's gonna start measuring like it is now. Make sure that your horizontal and vertical precisions are looking good. Your satellites are looking good. And also if anything messes up at all, like if your real rod tips over anything, you have to restart the measurement. But now since that third point got measured, it's telling us our horizontal and vertical residuals and it's saying calibration is in tolerance. So that's good. That's what we're looking for here. If it says it's out of tolerance, you're gonna have to go back through and remeasure control points. And, uh, that's what you it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit more time to do it so yeah always make sure that each one of these steps that you're doing is looking good then also what you do after this is you just walk over to your next control point select it like that and you would hit select make sure your measurements time is at 60 or more then hit start and it start measuring it also i just like to say this one more time you want to measure at least five control points if you don't it's going to throw it off and it's not going to be as accurate as you want and if you want to finish it you can hit finish tap okay it's going to finish this then it asks if you want to save the base location as a control point yes you do if you're set up over a on a base post that you put in your job you want to save that so and if you want to check right here you can hold it down and now, as you can see, this has saved into here. It was on, but it measured it using satellites. But yeah, that's how you do a site calibration on Trumbull SiteWorks. And thanks for watching.